All right, hey, what's up? Um, I'm recording right now through the regular iPhone uh, microphone. I'm also eating a lollipop, but whatever. I quit smoking, so this is a lot healthier. Okay. Basically, so the audio is running through this um, input here, or the microphone on the phone. The problem with that is, like, if you move away and stand somewhere else, like back here, what's up, you know? Like the, the quality of the audio is a little bit worse. You have to kind of yell to get your voice to the microphone. There's a solution for that. And it's this thing, it's called an iRig 2, made by some company, it's meant for a guitar, all right? You're meant to be able to plug in a guitar and record the guitar into your phone with pretty good audio because it has a preamp. This is the device, all right? It's called an iRig 2. I don't know if there was an iRig 1 or whatever, but this is the iRig 2. You want the one for guitar. There's some for microphones, there are some for uh, other things, like whatever. The iRig Pre, the iRig, whatever. There's a ton of them. But make sure you get the one iRig 2 for the guitar. Alright, it has a quarter inch plug at the back, and it has this um, auxiliary cable, auxiliary plug in the, in the other side. So this goes into your phone, all right? Um, and then I'm using an audio interface, so you can see, here's my setup. I have M MPD keyboards, screen, whatever. And uh, this is the interface. So all my audio is coming through this interface and I'm running on the headphone output, okay? I'm running a quarter inch. So this quarter inch is gonna take everything I send into this interface into this this rig here, the iRig. Okay, I tried using the output on the back of the interface. Mine has two, mine has like seven outputs, eight outputs, it's a good interface, but um, it wasn't working for some reason, I don't know why. I could probably figure it out, but I changed it to the headphone. So now it's coming out of the headphone output in the front here. And so that seems to work all right. Okay, so I'm gonna connect it. I'm gonna make sure this works first. This, this should, should be, be working. working. Okay, okay, but it's, it's coming, coming through, through um, the monitor speakers. speakers. It's, it's different, different with the iRig. Okay. Oh shit. I'm gonna plug this in. Right there, there's a quarter inch on the back. And then this goes into your phone. And you're gonna lose audio from me until the mic's on, but you're gonna lose audio for a little while. All right, now you should be able to hear. Okay, and now this is going through the iRig that I just showed you. And we're using a microphone to communicate now. So now you can have this little like lavalier microphones attached to your uh, clothing or whatever, your lapel on your suit. And you can move anywhere and have quality audio. So distance between the camera and um, where the person's standing to communicating, talking, doesn't matter anymore because you have direct input into the camera. So that's important. Um, yeah, I'm also gonna show you that you can run audio from your computer. So you can run like uh, a song or even like a full-on radio station. You can run a full-on radio station, online radio, streaming, all that uh, directly into your phone's video or into, um, FM somehow, I guess, through a transmitter. I have to look that up still. And if you know how to do that, let me know, because that's the next thing I'm going to um, study and, and look into. So I'm going to run a song that I'm, I'm working on. And I have, the, I have the gain set, so I'm able to talk over the song, if I have to. For the purpose of this, I'm going to do it to show how it works. But when I'm actually streaming music and broadcasting radio, I'm not going like, to be talking over all the, all the music. So, the song should be coming through, and it should be um, at appropriate levels. My mic volume and the song should be at a good balance level. This is a new song I'm working on. It's called Keep Your Head Up. Quit smoking. That's not what I did. Eat more lollipops and stop smoking. Yeah. So, as you 
you can see, you can still communicate and talk. Okay, so now it should be back to the regular iPhone volume. So yeah, this is it here. It's $40. So if you want to transfer your audio from a quarter inch, whether you have an interface or like an instrument, this is for guitar, so you can just record your guitar riff, guitar, uh, musical phrases, whatever, right into your phone, which, you know, this has a preamp. My interface has a ton of preamps already in it, so the interface already does that. But, you know, if you don't have an interface um, and you can somehow connect with quarter inch, like from a mixer, like you have, say you have like a CDJs, you have two CDJs and a mixer, you can transfer the information from the mixer on the output, okay, to a quarter inch, and then that quarter inch to this for forty bucks and record it, okay. You don't need a, you don't need a computer, you don't need a, a DAW, you don't need software, you don't even need an audio interface. This is basically like a little portable audio interface, which is freaking crazy, <laughs> okay. So this thing coming out of your mixer, okay, you can have plugged in directly into your phone and your phone will do the recording in an application you have to download. All right, so this is 40 bucks. It's very useful. I recommend it and quit smoking too. Peace.